In this video, I'm going to show you step-by-step -step how to change the aesthetics of your phone. I'm going to give you a RuneScape example, and I'll give you what you need to know and learn and be able to download down below for a Halo theme as well. Let's get started. Hey everyone, me Kevin here. I generally talk about money, stocks, and news on this channel, but today I have to share with you how I customized my phone because I'm super excited about it. It totally reminds me of the days of playing RuneScape, Halo, Splinter Cell, Counter-Strike, you name it. And in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly all of my tips and tricks for exactly how I customized this, how I put all of these icons together and the backgrounds and designs and everything. And it all has to do with Apple's new iOS 14. And I'm stoked because even though I don't get to play RuneScape anymore and my favorite games of the past as much as I wanted to, although I did play a game of Counter-Strike Source yesterday, I have to share this with you because this is awesome. So step one, download if you have not yet, download iOS 14. But before you do that, I always recommend you back up first. So in case you don't know how to do that, I'll just kind of give you the really quick lowdown on that, okay? So just pull it up, click on your name at the top, and what I recommend you do is hit iCloud, and then go down to backup, iCloud backup, and press that backup now button. I usually always recommend you back up. Hopefully you just backed up yesterday anyway or something like that. I usually generally recommend you back up before you do a software update. But anyway, once you've done that, head on back to settings, then go to general, then go to software update, and you should see it say checking for update, and then ideally within a few seconds it'll say, yay, you can update to iOS 14. Heck, maybe you already have, and you don't even realize you have yet. If it says you're on iOS 14, you're good to go to step number two. So here's what you're going to do. Go ahead and go to your phone, and when you have all of these apps, let's say you've got a whole jumble of apps and you've got all these folders and everything, the very first thing that I did was I moved as many apps as I could, which was like 99% of them, to the app library. I used to have a ton of folders over here, like six or seven different sorted folders. I got rid of all of that, and you'll see why in a moment. But watch this, if I just hold down M1 Finance here for a second and click Edit Home Screen, I'll be able to tap on M1 again, and rather than getting rid of it by pressing this little minus button here when I tap on it again, rather than deleting the app, I'm going to do something new and I'm going to press Move to App Library. That makes it disappear from my pages and puts this, it puts the app into this really neat place called now the app library, which you'll see when you swipe left, you'll actually end up in the app library. And this is an automatically categorized set of all of your apps and it's alphabetized. If you click on app library up here, you can go through this kind of like you go through your contacts. I really like this. I usually just like searching for what I need anyway. So if I need Amazon, I could type in Amaz and boom, I get what I need without having all these clunky apps. One of the things that I've noticed is I get stressed out when I'm looking for an app or I've got a bunch of apps scattered everywhere on my phone or I see a ton of badge app icons like the ones and twos with all the notifications. It's annoying. It drives me nuts and I can't stand that. When I use my phone, I want my phone to give me some semblance of happiness. And just having that, oh my gosh, I already feel so much better just looking at it. So. The first thing that I did after I got rid of all of these apps and I moved everything that I had to app library, I asked myself, all right, which apps do I need at minimum that I want notifications on for? And by notifications, I mean the badge app icons, really, the little ones and twos, the red things that pop up next to them. And for me, that's really just phone, mail, I keep Safari there anyway, although I technically don't need Safari down here, and messages. In fact, what I might do, just because I even like keeping that little bottom bar kind of clean, I might end up making a custom icon for Safari, so that way I just have the three buttons down there at the bottom. But for now, I'll just leave this here to keep showing you the design. The simpler this is, the happier I am when I use my stuff. I like a clean desk, I like a clean room, I could work better when things are simple and organized. And the fact that Apple is now organizing this for you makes your life way easier. And I'm super excited about this. So 
One of the other things that I did before I started making some of these icons, which I'm going to walk you through step by step on how to do that. I kept a few apps over here that I wanted to use as a reference for which icons do I still have to make. So I kind of took my top favorite apps. In this case, that would have been like Robinhood, Webull, M1 Finance, the camera app, Discord, the YouTube Creator Studio, things like that. I took all of those and I had them all on this page here. This page is just sort of my temporary landing spot to remind me, okay, I got to make some apps here. Cool thing about iOS 14 though is I can hold my finger on the screen here, get everything to wobble again, press the little dots on the bottom, and I can actually now hide that page. So it's still there if I want to reference it, but now when I hit done and done again, I actually don't even have that page there anymore. It goes immediately to my app library when I swipe left, which is super awesome, really cleans this up for me. All right, so now I've kind of got you caught up as to where I am. How do we now make these designs? Well, that's this step, step number four. So here's the process for making these app designs. First, we got to make an app icon. Now, you can use apps for this like Widget Smith. In fact, if I just pull down from the top here and type in Widget Smith, you could use Widget Smith or Color Widgets to do this. However, I wanted to have a little bit more customized apps, so I'm actually going to use Photoshop to do this. The cool thing about using Photoshop is you could do this on your computer or your laptop or whatever, totally for free by getting a free trial with Creative Cloud, Adobe. I'm not sponsored by Adobe, wish I was, I'm not, but I'm gonna show you exactly how I made these custom icons using Photoshop. And it's really, really easy to do. So download Photoshop, you want Adobe Photoshop, and you're going to end up on a page that looks like this. Let's get rid of the phone here just for a second. I've got Google here, I've got Adobe over here. So we've got Adobe Photoshop up. And what I recommend you start by doing is just create a square template. So when you open up Photoshop for the first time, you'll get this new document page. Just type in something that's square, which would be like 1080p by 1080p. So 1080 pixels by 1080. As long as the measurement's the same, you're good. Open this up, great. Now we got a nice little square here. Now, I want to have a special background for all my icons. See, notice when I pop up the phone here, you're actually gonna see that You've got kind of the icon, like let's look at uh, the poison there with the number five. You'll see that there's the poison with the number five. Then you'll see there's this parchment paper kind of behind it. And then there's this sort of brown behind that. And so here's how I did that step by step to come up with this. The first thing that I did was I took my favorite game, <laughs> RuneScape, from middle school days, and I typed in RuneScape inventory because I wanted it to feel like my icons were actually icons in my inventory. And all I did here was I grabbed a screenshot of the inside of the inventory that we have here, just to get the color and a little bit of that texture. It's a super minor detail, but I grabbed that use my hot corners here to uh, get this done quickly. And I just spread this out pretty large. This just gives me this brown in a little bit of a textured format. So I personally really like that. Then I typed in RuneScape note and I got this parchment paper note here. And what's cool is a lot of these icons were already transparent, but sometimes they save as these web page files. So sometimes you actually have to right click, save image as, and then it'll save as a PNG, perfect. Now we got the note as a transparent, here we go. Drag that onto here. So uh, this will all get scaled down, so it's okay if it's a little pixelated right now. And I kind of just blew this up as large as I could within the actual frame of the icon here, rotated the page just a tiny little bit, just to really make this custom uh, in the way I want it. Doesn't have to be perfect, uh, there we go. And again, this is going to be tiny on the phone anyway, so I'm not worried about being t uh, it being pixelated. But now I've got my textured background, uh, which is back there. If I didn't have that textured background, just so you know, uh, I would end up getting some kind of default color from like Widgetsmith or whatever, which yeah, I could pick a color, but let's just say I picked a color and I painted it back here. 
it'd be something like that or whatever color I picked. If I picked black or something like that, you know, maybe I could try to find a brown, uh, you know, or some kind of yellow or whatever. But I, I didn't want that kind of glow or anything. I wanted it to look authentic like RuneScape. So that's why I used that screenshot of the background. So I was even thinking about doing this with Halo and trying to get like a, uh, you know, maybe like a Destiny background of an inventory clip or something like that. Uh, just to have something futuristic with Halo or maybe use like Counter-Strike as a background or RuneScape, whatever, right? Okay, so for RuneScape purposes, what I really want to do now is I want to create an app for Robinhood. Well, RuneScape happens to have, uh, uh, was it the Robinhood hat? <laughs> Robinhood hat, RuneScape, transparent. Oh, it's been so long since I've played. The Robinhood hat. Yes, it is the Robinhood hat. Uh, here we go, the Robinhood hat. Uh, and so I'm just going to drag this to the desktop here. Saved as a web again. Uh, I hate it when it does that. So I'm just going to have to right click here, save image. Luckily, it shows up as a PNG. Not all images will show up as a PNG. Sometimes you'll actually have to make a transparency. Anyway, if I had all this white junk back here, you could go over here and press this little, uh, what is this thing called? This little wandy thing, whatever that is. Uh, and then you can kind of select all the white over here. Uh, I like to just use the paint bucket and then click to do what's called rasterize, ra rasterize the layer, whatever. And then I can delete. See, I could get rid of all the white like that pretty easily. We get rid of that white now. Uh, and then sometimes I just manually kind of draw little lines just to get rid of the other junk that I don't want. See, there's an example of how you can make yourself a transparency. But in this case, I was fortunate enough to actually have, oops, that's not it, uh, to actually have the Robin Hood transparency already done for me. I actually used to work, well, volunteer for Rune HQ, and I used to make a lot of these transparencies, so I don't feel bad taking them. Another thing that I like to do, though, before I export this, is I want to add a little bit of a border to this. So I'm going to go up here to Layer, Layer Style, Stroke, and I just want this to have a little border of maybe two, two or three, maybe. It depends how it looks. This one's actually pretty small, this border. So let's maybe go to six. That's better. I like that. It gives me a little bit more texture here, a little bit more detail. You know, maybe we'll go to five, a little balance there. So you could do whatever you want. Then file, export, quick export as PNG, Robinhood. Uh, let's just put that onto my desktop here. Perfect. Now, here comes the fun part, okay? Now we're going to grab my phone. So first I'm going to airdrop this. So let's go ahead and grab downloads here. We'll jump on over to airdrop. And let's grab my Robinhood PNG here. And let's drop that onto iPhone. There we go. So that should pop on over to the Robinhood. Perfect. We got it. Okay, great. Now let's jump on to shortcuts. So this is where the fun happens. You might have to download shortcuts. For me, uh, it was already automatically offloaded, so I had to re-download it. So just go to the App Store, type in shortcuts, and re-download it. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to click plus, add action, and then type into the little search section. All you have to do is type in open, oops, there we go, open, uh, not open in, type open app. Open app, press that button, perfect. This is super easy, you just press open where it says choose, press the word choose, and now type in the app that you want this new icon to open. Well, Robinhood naturally. All right, we'll press the little dot, dot, dot up top here dot, 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 let's name the shortcut, Robin Hood, perfect, add to home screen, we're going to name it again, uh, Robin Hood, that way in the shortcuts app it says Robin Hood, and on the desktop it says Robin Hood, then we're going to press the icon there, not the top, but the left side there with the little blue circle around it, or the outline, press that, choose photo, choose the app icon that you made, choose, Press add at the top, boom, add it to home screen. All right, let's go check it out. Oh, look, there it is. That's so great. Uh, edit home screen. I'm gonna move this to my page one. I'm gonna get rid of the other Robin Hood shortcut that I made, delete that. Perfect, there it is. Boom, that's how I made it. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you a couple more things, but what I'm gonna do, uh, because I'm, I'm really excited about these apps, all of the icons that I've already made and the templates that I made, what I'm going to do just to make this really easy and useful for you is I'm going to link all of these below. 
See, I have this make icons one this with the troll here that I made. And the cool thing is I already have a bunch of icons in here. So for example, if I get rid of the troll and I put the bed in here, or I put the halo rifle in here, uh, the pickaxe, you know, I've got the dragon crossbow, uh, you know, the poison icon, the, the 73 hit marker, whatever. I'll put these all down below. Uh, you know, RuneScape, don't sue me, bro, for, for doing that. I hope that's okay. <laughs> I put, like, the cannon hit up here. Uh, so I'll just link that down below so you can download that file, and it'll give you a real nice head start for using this if you specifically want to use this. But let me go ahead and show you some f a few more cool tricks that I'm doing uh, just to customize the homepage here on my iPhone. Okay, now I'm gonna show off a couple of other things. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over here to clock and take a look at this. My uh, alarm clock for 5 a.m. and 5.01 are off, right? Well, watch this. I'm gonna go ahead and click alarm on, which is my bed icon. And that's when I go to sleep. I'm going to bed, so I made it a bed icon. When I wake up in the morning, I'm like a troll. So I put alarm off and I gave it a troll, right? But anyway, if I click alarm on, watch what automatically happens it goes over to the news. That's because when I go to sleep, I want to read the news. But what it also did is it turned on both of those alarms for me. And the same thing happens in reverse when I wake up in the morning. I like to not read the news because I'm going to sleep. Instead, I want to see what the stock market is doing. So in the morning, I click alarm off. It turns off both of those clocks and I get to see what the heck is going on in the stock market. And so here's exactly how to do that. You're gonna go to shortcuts, and it's basically the same process as we did for making these things, but look at this. We'll edit this here. You'll see all I did was turn alarm on, turn alarm number two on, and then open news or open the stock thing. Uh, and so you can really play with these and customize this. It's really fun. Of course, if you want to change your background, you'd go to camera and uh, then, of course, select the photo that you want to use for a background, which part of me was thinking about possibly using Cortana and making a halo theme in the background using this as a wallpaper. So I was tempted to do this. Obviously, I would have used different icons then. I would have used more Halo-themed uh, icons. So we'll go ahead and change that back, uh, but I'll change that back in a moment. I do just want to quickly mention that I love only having this one main page here because I can swipe left and I get my app library. I could swipe down and I get my notifications. I could swipe down from the top right, I get my control center. I could swipe to the right and I get my widgets. I have my podcasts that were recently added up top, my daily note checklist, I've got my recently played music, and I put all of my news into one of these smart stacks right here with all of these different headline topics like Airbnb, health, coronavirus, personal investing, real estate, economy. You know, some family pictures uh, that randomly pop-up. I'm still working on changing the random pop-ups of pictures that they give of like my, my in-laws or grandparents or whatever when I'm traveling. We've got uh, stocks I added over here. One thing I noticed is for some reason the USA Today is as white as a background. So I can actually change uh, what I've got for the news section by going to customize and I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of the USA Today there. And there we go. That cleans that up a little bit. Another thing that you can also do, which I love, is adding these stacks, which I kind of mentioned already with uh, having all these new stacks here, but I'll show you quickly how to do that. Plus, I could go down here to news. I love using this two-liner, and I'm going to add that, and I'm now going to add another one of those, so I'm kind of duplicating that process here, and you could do it with all three of these different sizes. And see, now I have SBA twice here, but I don't need that, so I'm going to tap one of these, Go to finance, let's say, there we go. And so now I've got finance and SBA and I can grab this and collapse them together, which is exactly what I did with all 10 of them uh, in this widget here. Now I'll get rid of this because I already have one of those, press done, and there we go. So I've got my news here. And uh, of course, my favorite home screen. So there you go. If you've enjoyed this, please consider sharing this. If you want one free stock worth up to $1,600, go to the link down below and sign up for Webull, deposit $100, they give you a free stock. You can also check out the programs that I have to teach you how to build your wealth and of course, get life insurance in as little as five minutes. I'll link down below. If you wanna download these things, I'll link them down below as well. Thanks for watching and until next time.